As you know, Pastor Jennings is our leader, teacher, and guide. Again, a reminder, this program is on the air for your edification. Uh, it's not entertainment by no means. It's driven by the Holy Ghost. I ask you to sit attentively and listen to the word of God this time. Our leader, teacher, and guide, the apostle, Pastor Gina yes. Jennings. <clears throat> Greetings, brothers and sisters. As always, we bear witness there is only one true living God. We thank him for his divine wisdom and his perfect and infallible understanding of all things. A God that have no flaws. He has no errors. He has never made a mistake since he's been God. We thank him for sending holy men. He didn't just send any kind to represent him. The prophets were holy, the apostles were holy, and the message that God gave them were holy. <clears throat> to transform the human family to be what God is. Until God says, holiness without, to the apostles, no man shall see the Lord. I'm so glad to see Brother Dan the man back. Yes. Thank God for him. <clears throat> to all of our brothers and sisters that are watching, we greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus. God alone is worthy of all the praise. And God alone is worthy of all honor that's due him. When I think of the scriptures, I think of the fact the Lord has an agenda. One thing about God, and I want everybody to hear this, if you're wise, you never want to interfere with God's agenda. If you're wise. And I say that because everybody has an agenda. Everybody's agenda is not bad. And everybody's agenda, of course, is not good. <clears throat> but at all times, God's agenda is perfect and always good for everybody. But never interfere with God's agenda. Whatever God's agenda is, you may not understand it when you first hear it, when it's first introduced to you. In fact, it may not settle too well with you. It is in man and woman to retaliate against what they can't comprehend. Until the scripture says they speak evil of the thing that they understand not. There are many things pertaining to God that I don't know. You know, some folk thank God for me too much. What I mean by that, they go overboard. They say, I just think you know everything. I say, lie. <laughs> no, only one know all things. Jesus himself. So the Bible says Jesus of Nazareth knew all things. It didn't say Gino of Jennings. <laughs> Are you listening? <laughs> I have to keep it right. Nothing wrong with thanking God for the truth, but keep it right. Sometimes many log on to the webcast and make comments, and they're so grateful for the truth. Some say, you know what? Gene, Pastor Jennings is just the truth. No, I'm not. I am a preacher of truth. God is the truth. Yeah. You know, the Bible talk about Jesus and says not only he is the truth, he is the light. You got to make sure by thy words you're justified. If I was a praise lover and one that seek flattery, I lack up everything up. 
I lack it up like a dog lack up vomit. But uh, I want to eat right. In other words, any compliments or praise that don't fit me, don't give it to me. You give honor who honor is due. In other words, the honor of God don't fit no man. Are you listening to the old man? The honor of God don't fit no man, and the honor of God is not made for man. The honor of God is made for God, and the honor of man is made for man until Jesus preached it like this. Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar. Render to God the things that are God. That's why I, by God's permission, encourage the people, never testify and thank God for me before you thank God for Christ. Never. Some say, if it wasn't from Pastor Jennings, I don't know where I'll be. Mm, you'll be in hell. If it wasn't from God, you don't know where you'll be. Always remember, every man that God have ever sent in the past or in the present or in the future, you have to credit God for his arrival. Whenever a tailor make a suit, you don't compliment the suit you wear. Gotta compliment the teller or the creator or the maker of your suit. Do you see what I'm telling you? The preacher is just divinely custom made for the time wherein he lived. And you can't credit that fleshy suit that's preaching. No, not at all. You have to credit his teller, his maker. Now, the difference is God don't make the gospel fit the preacher. The preacher got to fit into the gospel. Regardless of what happened in the world, the world always fit. Because the world functioned according to prophecy. Whether the world perish, whether the world prosper, nothing is going to happen in this life that doesn't fulfill God's agenda. So I don't want to tamper with God's agenda. Amen. I don't want to do anything to alter it. Nor do I want to challenge it. Are you listening to me? If God have an agenda, if God have a will, hear, yeah, hear me good. Be compliant even when you don't understand it. Because if it's from God, I'm safe. Even if I'm not able to comprehend it. But if it's from God, I'm still safe. Don't know why God want me to do this. Don't know why God want me to go here. But if it's from God, then I'm in good hands. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm safe. Amen. Why? Because God will never, ever lead me wrong. Are you getting what I'm telling you? God, when he lead us, he lead us according to his word. Because the book of scriptures is the instrument of correction and the instrument of straightness. Never at no time. You know, I think of Naaman. Naaman was a high-ranking fellow who was afflicted with leprosy. <laughs> and the prophet was one that was subject willingly to God's agenda. Now Naaman knew the prophet and Naaman wanted to get cleansed of leprosy and he sent word to the prophet and uh, the prophet didn't do what Naaman thought he should have done. Right. See, Naaman thought the prophet should have came, you know, just lay hands on him and pray Jeez. and whatnot. And, but that wasn't God's agenda. God's agenda was, I'm going to break Naaman's pride. 
Take him out of his comfort zone. You know, sometimes God's method is designed not to make you comfortable. Because the wisdom of God, once he see we are already too comfortable, then God step in. Praise the name of God. In his great wisdom. And bring something. Make it happen. To disrupt, disturb your comfort zone. Amen. And it can be God will. Name and thought to wash in bodies of water of his choice. And Elijah sent a messenger unto him. Listen at this quickly and then I'll get to the foundation of where we're going. Quickly in 2 Kings chapter 5 and verse 10. Follow me. And Elijah sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go and wash in Jordan seven times. Go wash in Jordan. Jordan River had a reputation then like it have now. Right. Filthy. Dirty. You don't find nobody with a custom-made dress or suit or mink coat want to go step down in mud. Right. But look at God's agenda. God says through the prophet, Go and wash in Jordan seven times. Go wash in Jordan. Don't just dip and get out quick. No. no. Need you to be there a while. <laughs> That's Glory right. Glory to God. That's right. Be there a while until you come to yourself. Go wash in Jordan seven times. And thy flesh shall come again and to thee. And you will get healed. And thou shalt be clean. And but Naaman was wroth. Naaman. Glory to God. That's us. That's right. Naaman was angry. And when Naaman away. was upset, mm -hmm. we would say Naaman was mad. That's right. He was angry and upset because what he was expecting to happen uh -huh. did not happen. That's right. Uh -huh. But Naaman was wroth and went away and said, Behold, I thought. Ah. <laughs> right then. That make you fall back on Bible. Because God said, my thoughts are not your thoughts. That's right. Didn't he say so? That's right. My way is not like yours. That's right. And that scripture stands now just as good as when it was spoken. That's right. Listen at this. Behold, I thought he would I surely come out thought. to me. Notice the language of the scripture. I thought. That's the kernel mind exercising itself. That's right. I thought that he will surely come out to come me. He will come on out to where I am. Why? Why? I'm naming. That's right. I'm used to folk catering to me. That's right. I had a prophet going, he won't even come out. That's right. He's telling me, oh, just go down there and watch him seven times. You'll get clean. Mm -hmm. and Behold, I thought he will surely come out to me. Yes. And stand and call on the name of the Lord his God. I thought he'd stand and just start praying. That's right. Lord, help this left man. That's right. Free him and heal him. Mm -hmm. And strike his hand over the place. Strike his hand where I'm afflicted at. And recover the leper. Yes. Are not a banner and for par rivers of Damascus. Notice how he recommended. Mm -hmm. He recommended other bodies of water that, were, that knew he knew he was clean. That's right. That he felt as though those waters was good enough for him and he was good enough for them. You see God mind? That's right. God brought what Naaman did not want and God knew it. That's right. That's the way God do with us. Oh, yes. God make a thing happen that you wouldn't want to happen. That's true. To do what? Mess up your comfort. That's right. Interfere. Glory to God with your pride. Let yeah. you know that God has an agenda. That's right. And you have one. And somebody got to give in. That's right. And I'm telling you right now, it'll never be God. Amen. Eh? Amen. Amen. It'll never be God. Oh no, God ain't never, never. You will never get God to tap out. No way. Man, you can't put God in no submission hold. <laughs> what he said to come to pass. That's right. 
Amen. Come on, son. Are not Abana and Fapar rivers of Damascus uh -huh. better than all the waters of Israel? Yes. May I not wash in them and be clean? Can I go wash in those bodies of rivers and get myself killed and get clean? So he turned and went away in a rage. That's us. That's right. I would like to have my way. God said, no, you ain't. That's you, viewer. That's right. God said through the scripture, repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You say, can I bow my head and raise my hands and be clean? <laughs> That's right. Can I join the church of my choice and be clean? Yeah. Can I pray a sinner's prayer and be clean? Can I just uh, get a dry clean? Can I just touch the television? That's right. And be clean? And can't God just come in my heart that way? That's right. Mm -hmm. May God I has an agenda. That's outlined in the scripture, and not even God himself will permit himself That's right. to go opposite from what's written in scripture. That's right. Why will God not do it? Because he will not tell us to believe what he go opposite of. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. Listen. So he turned and went away in a rage. Got upset. And his servants came near and spake unto him. Hey, listen. Now I want you to listen at the wisdom of the servants talking to their master, old Mr. Naaman. And said, my father. My father. If the prophet if had bid thee the to do some great thing. would have told you to do something great, you know, something that would make you more popular. Wouldest thou not have done it? Hmm. Many are the same way now. To many people, it is beneath them to serve the Lord. That's right. That's right. It is beneath them. That's right. To get on their knees and pray to the God of heaven. That's right. Too rich. Too rich. Too popular. If they go to church, they feel as though they're doing God a favor. That's right. Can you imagine the hellion? <laughs> Use a hell yeah. <laughs> Amen. Imagine you doing God a favor. Lord. Let me tell everybody under the sun, God don't need nobody. <laughs> That's right. He was God before creation. That's right. Before he separated light from darkness and gave the sea her decree. Before he laid the beams of the chambers in the waters. He was God. He was God. Before there were any angels. He was God and had peace. That's right. Didn't have no problems on earth <laughs> until he made old hellion man. That's right. Thank God in every sense man came. Man been problematic ever since he arrived. Amen. Even right now, man live and breathe by God's permission. Amen. He survived by God's permission, not by his own accord, like he want to believe in his arrogant nature. That's right. You walk, talk, sit, drink, all by God's permission. That's right. But yet you're too high-minded. Too high-minded. And you're too self-exalted. But it is written, the lofty looks of man shall be brought low. That's right. And the haughtiness of man shall be bowed down. Oh, yeah. And the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. Read quick, Williams. My father, if the prophet had bid thee to do some great thing, uh -huh. wouldst thou not have done it? Wouldst you have done it? How much rather than when he said to thee, wash and be clean? How much rather when he told you God's agenda That's right. to wash and and be clean. Then when he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan. Oh, he waked up. They talked some sense into him. That's right. You know, sometime it take a while before people see the light. <laughs> That's true. Amen. That's true. Take a while for some people. <laughs> some you ain't got to fight with them. That's right. Then there are some that are so wicked, so hard head, so stubborn, they want to tamper. With God's agenda. That's right. If you're wise, you come on back and do it. 
the way God says it. That's why you hear me declaring to the world with God's help, come back to Bible. Yeah. That's right. Come on back. What am I telling you? Come back to God's agenda. Yeah. Name it out of all his anger, out of all his frustration, yeah. out of all his pride. He didn't get clean until he was fully compliant, 100% with God's agenda. That's right. Do you hear this? Then went he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan. Then what? According to the saying of the man of God. What? According to the saying of the man of God. He got clean according to what? According to the saying of the man of God. Hear me, world? <laughs> Amen. Nobody here, here, here Amen. will get right, born again, saved from eternal hell. That's right. Until they do it according to, the to God's agenda That's that right. comes from the saying of God's man, That's from right. the word of God. That's right. You can hate God, man, all you want. All you can you hate want. that man. You can misunderstand them, you can misrepresent them, but the word of the Lord hmm. is in the mouth of the man of God. That's right. That's don't right. like them, you don't have to like them. Amen. It's not a man of God that God ever sent that you have to like. Amen. Did you hear me? That's true. There's not one man that God ever had sin or will sin. Not even God required you to like him. No. You have to love him. <laughs> That's right. But you got away, didn't you? <laughs> That's right. You have to love him. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. You remember when we debated Mr. Israel, the gentleman that had the dreadlocks in the shades? Yeah. And man, he called the church and left a threatening message for me. Mm. Amen. Called me uh, this and that. He got so upset, he said, I'm a transgender. Mm. <laughs> I'm a transgender. Last time I checked, I got all the right pieces. That's right. I really do. I got all the right pieces. That's right. In the right places. In the right places. Amen. He, he want me dead. My Lord. And uh, he want to take Pastor Jennings off the planet. Mm. Amen. He ain't the first one that threatened me. You got to stand in line. That's yeah. right. I have declared to the world by heaven's authority. Now, I know that made folk up there. Oh, yes. Where did you get your authority from? Jehovah, Moses God. That's right. That's where I get mine. Hallelujah. Glory. That's where I get mine from. That's right. I have been threatened for years. You have threatened to cut my tongue out. Organizations have threatened to hang me from trees. I, they have threatened to bomb my house. They have threatened to bomb the churches. My Lord. I don't care. That's right. That's right. That's right. Dumb threats don't bother me. No. Yeah, man, they, don't, they, don't, they don't count here. No. I am sent to do the will of him that sent me. That's right. That's what I'm sent for. That's right. Amen. Amen. You ain't looking at someone that flinge, that cringe over threats. No. I've been threatened for so long until it's cobwebs on them. <laughs> I'm not moved at all. No. Amen. I done had folk that used to be members here uh -huh. that have backslid uh -huh. and turned around and threatened me in return. Amen. Amen. Pastor Jennings don't, they don't threaten the false prophets. No. Why? Because the false prophets don't have a message from heaven no. that disrupt the peace of the world. That's right. Yeah, may God. That's right. Amen. 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 You, you remember this message. Do not interrupt yeah. God's agenda. That's right. All right, I want to work on the scripture exact no more, but then upon it. Before I do, let's get this wonderful baptism report. Mm -hmm. One week's report. 
People are still rejoicing over the one month report we read oh, yes. uh, last week. 925 souls in one month. Amen. All right, 14 in headquarters, six in Bronx, New York, 10 in Baltimore, three in Rocky, North Carolina, one in Rocky Mountain, three in Charlotte, one in Charleston, three in Washington, one in Columbia, nine in Atlanta, 10 in Mobile, two in Jackson, Mississippi. Four in Memphis, three in Nashville, five in Orlando, one in Lafayette, Louisiana, five in Houston, eight in Los Angeles, one in Sacramento, two in Santa Rosa, California, two in Milwaukee, seven in Detroit, one in North Chicago, 12 in Indianapolis, one in Minnesota International, one in Germany, three in Birmingham, England, total 119 for one week. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. Amen. One received the Holy Ghost, I believe, in Nashville. Several, several, several received the Holy Ghost down there in Houston, Texas. Wonderful. Right. So the power of God is still falling, and the devil's still angry, and the world still want your brother, Pastor Jennings, dead. Amen. Well, it fulfilled the scriptures because they wanted the prophets dead, and they killed some. That's right. And they wanted the apostles dead and they killed some. That's right. Why do they want me dead? Not because I've done wrong by them. No. But because the message. The message. It's the message. I am not the message. That's right. I am the messenger of the message. That's it. Getting mad at the wrong one. That's right. That's Amen. Right. Don't get mad at the mailman man because he give you a nine thousand dollar light bill. Yep. <laughs> That's right. No need to go throw bottles and rocks at him. <laughs> Amen. That's you right. You better call Pico or whatever light service is in your company. That's right. That's right. Now let me say this before I go to work to all the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the truth of God follows. Uh, we have a commission, a convention committee team also, a, which have broadened into also a photography team and a journalistic team that I may add. Uh, the purpose of the journalistic team, they make reports on what's going on in the different locations and kind of work together with the photography team who take photographs of different church events and things that's going on. So in other words, we get different, all locations involved in documenting uh -huh. what's going on for the historic archives of the church. So we have a lot of things to look back on years to come. So whenever you see any brothers or sisters and they let you know what committee they're from taking pictures of that event, all ministers don't interfere with them. They don't need your permission, minister. They got permission from the overseer. They don't have to ask you can they do the report or can they take the pictures. They're doing their job that they've been assigned to like you're supposed to do your job that I assign you to. Your job is to pull the pit. Cameras should not be of your concern. That's right. So the apostle declared, they don't even have a reason to leave the word of God to serve tables. So you ministers, you leave the brothers and sisters alone. That's doing their job. And uh, why would you, any minister, be holding up any photographs that brothers or sisters are taking? What time do you have to be interested in photographs when you should be focusing on sharpening your skill as a minister? That's right. Delivering God everlasting word. That's right. Stay in your place and do what you've been assigned to do. And let them do what they've been assigned to do. That's right. Amen. 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 Pastor Paul said, I've said everything in order when I come. That's right. 
And uh, I, I have came and I've been here now. Tomorrow will be three weeks. And, and I have a lot of things to set in order. Yeah. You ministers, just leave the brothers and sisters alone that's doing their job so you don't interfere with the work of the church. You know you can help the work of the church or interfere with it. That's right. And if you interfere with the work of the church in any area, now you're tampering with God's agenda. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Now to all ministers' wives around the world. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, now. Whenever there's a sister's meeting and there are mothers in the church, which are the age women, in that meeting, no minister's wife shall ever say anything disrespectful in that meeting, That's right. especially to the mother's sitting present. That's right. Please don't think because you're the wife of a minister that may be in charge of that location that you all of a sudden is the first lady <laughs> of that location. Not even my wife think that way That's and right. she's the wife of your overseer. That's right. You're the wife of, if I use the term, of a student minister. That's right. A student minister. That's right. Please don't let your wifiness, if there's such a word, you know, because I have a way of coming up with things. <laughs> don't look it up in, Dick, in, De in Webster. Dick's you know, may not be in, in Webster, you know. <laughs> not, not, yet. Not, not yet. Take note of it. First heard it here. That's right. <laughs> but please don't get so caught up in your wifiness that you think you can disrespect the mothers. Right. Let me say to all the mothers, I don't care if it is a minister who's ministering in the pulpit of your location wife. If she get out of pocket and an all sisters meeting, you mothers, don't you allow that meeting to go on or close without putting that sister in her place, even if she's the minister's Amen. wife. Amen. Come on, That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. Don't let you, your place as being the wife to a minister in charge, go through your head. No. Like you shooting up with heroin. Amen. 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 You mothers, it doesn't matter if it's the minister's wife. Put her in check. Don't you let her talk to you any type of way. That's right. You ain't no child. You a mother. That's right. Exercise your authority. Put her in her place. Amen. As a mother in the church, you also got the right to set her down. Amen. Even if she's the wife of a minister, you got the right Amen. to set her down. Amen. And if she on an auxiliary and don't want to repent, you got the right. I take her off the auxiliary and the minister. If the mother reprimand your wife and your wife refuse correction and the mother set her down, Amen. don't you put her back up. That's right. That's right. Don't you put her back up. Don't you get up in a pulpit to protect your wife. You don't protect sin That's in right. no form, even if it comes from your wife. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, he that has respect a person. Commit sin. Commit sin, Commit and sin. that includes your wife. That's right. That's right. 
Are you listening to the old man? Amen. When the Lord made me an overseer, he made me that. Yeah. I don't cater to nobody. I cater to Bible. Amen. Oh, so you mothers, it doesn't matter if this the minister's wife, put her in check. That's right. And if there was a meeting took place and any minister's wife disrespect the mothers or disrespect the sisters, then you go to her and get her right. Get her right. And if she don't want to submit to correction, then take her before the minister. And if the minister is her husband, it shouldn't be a conflict of interest. That's true. That's right. Because he had to judge it with Bible. That's right. And when you use the Bible, that eliminate conflict of interest. Amen. You ministers fill as though it's a conflict of interest when someone bring a complaint against your wife and your wife is wrong and you feel as though you can't handle the matter without showing a little favoritism. Get out of the pulpit. Right now, it's 127 Eastern Time. It's 1227 Central Time. Get out the pulpit right now. Amen. You're not fit. Amen. Anytime you got respect to person, you're sin. not fit. That's right. To preach That's to right. nobody. That's right. Amen. Don't tamper. Amen. With God's agenda. Right. Amen. This message fell on me early this morning. Wonderful. Mm. Wonderful. Uh, hallelujah. Oh, Do it. Yes. Early this morning. It fell on me. My Lord. Don't tamper mm. with God's agenda. Amen. All right. Follow me and hear me. Now, I want you to get this. Get this. That goes for all the ministers. I don't care who your wife is. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. You mothers, do your job. Don't be afraid to do your job in your, your location. But that's the minister's wife. I don't care if it's Gabriel's twin sister. Amen. Lord to God, if she got a hat made from the wings, if, if Gabriel got wings, if, if, if Gabriel yeah. got wings made from gold feathers, and she got a hat made from his feathers, and she wiped her face with a feather, a feather handkerchief. If a shoe, if she got two wings to cover her feet. My Lord. Two wings <laughs> to cover her hands. Two wings to cover her face. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. That's right. I'm a man that refused to tamper. That's right. With God's agenda. That's right. I understand the danger and the importance Never tampering with God's agenda. You remember what we read earlier about Naaman? Mm -hmm. What did Naaman say? I thought. I thought. I thought that the man of God would come out. Not to me. To me. That's right. God told him through the prophet, you go wash in Jordan That's seven Jordan. times. Right. Naaman had an agenda. Yeah. God had one. That's right. I'm going to lean to God's agenda if I get enemies from around the world. That's right. And as it stands now, I'm telling you, there are benefits if you're willing to hear your brother. Oh, yeah. There, hallelujah. There are benefits if you just stick to God's agenda. That's right. You don't have to understand it. But God said, consider what I said. Consider. Oh, to God. Don't, don't go, don't approach God's agenda from your feeling, from your heart, by your emotion. That's right. Just don't tamper with it. That's right. Till the Lord says, touch not my anointing. Do my prophet, do my messenger no harm. Don't bother him. That's it. Leave God's agenda alone. That's right. All right, Williams. Everybody all right? Oh, yeah. Amen. All right. Let's in the, dive into the Bible and hear the message now. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 3, we'll start at verse 12. Follow me and get this. Luke, chapter 3, and we're beginning at verse 12. Yes, you brothers, y'all can raise the windows up more and whatnot, get some more air in here. Mm -hmm. Come on, brothers. All right, let's have it. Then came also publicans to be baptized. Then came publicans to be baptized. And said unto him, Master, what Master, shall we do? What shall we do? Now, brothers and sisters, uh -huh. this is what all of you should ask. Yes. You 
You all should want to know what should I do and what can I do That's it. to be compliant to God's will. That's right. What, pay attention, should I do and what can I do right. to be compliant with God's will? Understand this? God's will is going to outlast you. Oh, yes. When you are dead and gone, you better not want God to reflect on anything pertaining to his will mm -hmm. that should have been wrought in you that you tampered with. That's right. You better not even speak against God's agenda. That's right. You better not even think you against think God's against. agenda. That's right. For the Bible said the very thought of foolishness. If you, if you think that which is according to Bible uh, is foolish, you foolish. sin. If you just think you sin, think if you think of it the wrong way, you sin. That's right. The Bible said the very thought of foolishness is sin. It's sin. Huh? In the book of Proverbs 24 and verse 9. Hear that? The thought of foolishness. What? The thought of foolishness is sin. That's why our mind is no good. Mm -hmm. He come along and say, let this mind be in you. That's also in Christ Jesus. Jesus didn't have a foolish mind. No, he didn't. That flesh and blood body that was called the son of God, born of the woman Mary from the tribe of Judah, from the house of David, from the offspring of Abraham, it was subject to God's agenda. That's right. It was so subject until he declared, I do always That's right. those things that please, please him. 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 No, we don't see something or don't agree with it. We make it our business to try to make it wrong. You better be careful. That's true. You'll be tampering with God's agenda. That's right. Like you out there watching, you can't see that there's one God. Mm -hmm. You think it's God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, three persons in a Godhead, and you got all type of religious fellas all over social media yelling about Pastor Jennings with this one God. <laughs> Amen. This one coming out the woodworks, I want to debate him. He, he don't believe in the Trinity. All mm -hmm. you got to do is show me in the Bible. Listen, I can see plainly where the Bible says the Bible. Mm -hmm. there's one God, one God. There's no God with him. That's right. I can see where it says there's no God besides him. That's right. I can see so plain where it says there's no God before, no him. God before him. And I also can see in the Bible written so plain, neither shall there after be him. any after him. after him. I can see that plain. That's right. All I'm asking if there are three distinct persons in the Godhead, like you liars been saying, <laughs> just show the scripture right. where it says there are three separate, separate and distinct personalities in the Godhead. When you put that sleeper hole on me, yeah. <laughs> with, Bible, with the Bible, I'm going to tap out. That's right. That's right. I'm going to tap out. That's right. That's all you got to do. You can make all your podcasts and get over social media. Pastor Jennings is an antichrist. Pastor Jennings is a liar. Pastor Jennings is a fortified false prophet. <laughs> call me whatever you like. You, know, you can call me a bowl of rice Christmas, but I'm a snap, cracker, and pop Bible on you. That's right. Come on back to Bible. That's it. That's it. Thank God this is the strongest message in the earth yes. today. Yes, it is. God, this message is unrivaled. That's Lord right. God, it is unrivaled. That's right. By anything. By anything. Because God is talking here. That's it. We take God. What did He say? Back in St. Luke chapter three and verse twelve. Listen at this. Then came also publicans to be baptized. Then came publicans to be baptized. And said unto him, Master, Master, what shall we do? What shall we do? We do. And he said unto them. And Jesus said to them, Exact yeah. no more. Exact. Exact. Don't take no more in your hands. Don't go beyond. Don't do less. That's right. And don't do more. Exact no more. Exact. Amen. No more. Than that which is. Than that which is, which is appointed you. Appointed you. That's it. That's right. Yeah, whatever That's right. you do. Whatever. When you do it according, exactly. That's it. According to scripture, right. you are in compliance right. with God's agenda. That's right. 
And I advise the world, leave God's agenda alone. Amen. You that's back there in the booth, turn me up back there. Turn me up. Amen. Amen. Make me louder. Amen. Make right. Williams louder. I, I, I never can be too loud. <laughs> that's right. Somebody say my ear hurt. And, and, and that's what I want. I want, it to, <laughs> I want the truth to hurt down in there. That's right. That's right. God has an agenda. Amen. Amen. And human family, you want me to look at your feelings, your emotions, your thoughts, yes. and consider how you feel about God's agenda. I don't care how nobody feels. That's right. About God's agenda, my first obligation is to satisfy God first, first. by staying within accordance of God's agenda. That's right. You out there have been fighting the word of God since you've been born, many of you. Oh, yeah. And the worst thing you can do oh, yes. is think light of God's agenda, yes. Oh, yes. speak light of God's agenda, misinterpret God's agenda, That's right. become uh, too emotional where you say something that you should not say, right. think something that you should not think, do something that you should not do That's touching right. God's agenda. That's right. That's right. That's why it takes God to make a preacher. Oh, yes. And when God make a preacher, this is what God said about him. Delivering him from the people. From the people. Yes. I mean, God make a preacher and then separate him from everybody. That's right. The purpose of him separating him from everybody, that he may fill him up freely with scripture. Yeah. Amen. I got to separate my emotions from everything and everybody, from wife, from children, from mama, from brothers. That's if I right. look at, if my approach towards them will be from emotion, I sin. Yeah. And there are certain things I won't preach because I know it may hurt them or offend them. But to stay on God's good side. Yeah. Are oh, you listening to the old man? Oh, That's yeah. right. To stay on God's good That's side. Right. And to stay out of hell. Yeah. And to stay within the rims of my divine calling. Oh, yes. I cannot tamper with no. God's agenda. Exact no more Are than that which is appointed you. Exact no more than that which is appointed you. Now, viewers, God appointed the scriptures here. Yes, As did. our divine guide to eternal life. That's right. The scriptures is our divine guide oh, yeah. to eternal life. Oh, yeah. You know, many of us mm -hmm. do things towards scripture. We're not really taking the scriptures as seriously as we should. Yeah. Always remember, your heart your personal views and God views oh, yes. are not parallel. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. What? In Isaiah chapter 55 and at verse 8. That God proved that to me. Oh, yeah. Amen. Have he proved it to you? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. God come along and bring something that's totally opposite from what you think. That's right. How you feel. Amen. Many feel as though I shouldn't be no preacher. <laughs> That's right. I've heard men say that That's when right. I was young in the ministry. And then they heard that uh, we started pastoring. They felt as though my brother Chris should be a preacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the only reason why they felt that way was because of his educational background. They mm -hmm. forgot all about the Bible. God chose the foolish things of the world. That's right. And man, God came along and got a young fool. <laughs> wow. Amen. Didn't have no doctorate, didn't have no PhD. Didn't have no LLD, never Amen. went to seminary school, never took a Bible course since I've been black. And I've been black going on 60 years. Amen. Amen. I'll soon be a 60-year-old black man. <laughs> never stepped foot in the Bible college since I fell from my mother's womb. Wonderful. And Wonderful. don't plan on to. Amen. Oh, we'll take God, I have the best informer. That's right. I get the best. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Yeah. I get the best information. That's right. I'm informed by the best. By the best. 
Oh, yes. That God, the one that informed me, have no rivals. Oh, yes. Have no equals. Oh, yes. I got the best counselor. Amen. The best teacher. The best. And one thing about God, he knows this, and he put this in us. Oh, yes. Whatever consequences that I have to deal with. Wonderful. From the human family. Wonderful. In house or out, mm. in my being compliant and refusal to tamper with God's agenda, Amen. so be it. Amen. Whatever I got to lose, so be it. If I die, let me die the death of the righteous. That's right. Balaam said, and let my last end be like his. Be like his. Wonderful. Don't tamper. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Don't tamper with God's agenda. That's right. Tamping with God's agenda is tamping with your life. Amen. Amen. And if you want to tamper with your life, you'd be a fool now. Yeah. You'd be a hell bound, everlasting fool. Isaiah 55 but the and The Bible verse eight. says this. Listen. For well, my thoughts are not your thoughts. My thoughts. Amen. Not yours. How, how plain Amen. can God make it? That's right. An old fool come along and say, I don't feel as though God think like that. Shut your mouth. That's right. Nobody That's right. care nothing about how you feel. No. How the world feel, you can write a book. Oh, yeah. yeah. In fact, there's full of books written about how people feel. That's right. Now, here you got the scriptures here, how God feel. That's right. Listen at this. Isaiah 55 and verse 8. For my thoughts are not my your thoughts. thoughts. And not yours. Neither are How your God thoughts. think yeah. and the way we think, they are not the same. That's right. Because the kernel mind is enmity. That's right. It's against God. It's against God. And when you talk to the kernel mind, it is not subject. Thank God to the law of God, neither indeed can be. Mm -hmm. And it don't want to be. No. Are you getting me? For my thoughts are not your thoughts. How much plainer can God make it? Amen. Your thought says, accept Christ as your personal Savior. Right. Your thought says, having the Holy Ghost without speaking in tongues. Your thought says, the Holy Ghost is the third person in the Godhead. That's right. Your thought says that uh, there is no God. That's right. Your thought says there's nothing wrong with same-sex marriages. Mm -hmm. Your thought is, I don't want to come to church if he is there or she is there or if they is there. Yeah. Your thought says, I don't want him to have a suit like mine. That's right. Your thought says, I don't want him to have a pair of shoes like mine. <laughs> Your right. thought says, my pocketbook look better than hers. Amen. That's true. Amen. That's true. That's our thoughts. That's right. A bunch of mindless, wasteful trash. That's right. That's why God won our mind. One scripture says, get rid of your mortal get mind. Get rid of your mortal mind. Get rid of your mind and get God's mind and clean up your dirty, useless mind. That's right. Eh? For my thoughts, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Not your thoughts. Amen. What else? Neither are your ways. Neither is your conduct. My ways, saith the Lord. Who said it? Saith the Lord. No, said Geno Genesis. Saith the Lord. Now, Israel, you know what's so funny? Here you got all these so-called black organizations always talk about the love they got for black folk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the purple gang, love for black folk. Yeah. Hey Amen. This fella that was here, love for black folk. Lord. The moment we point them to the Bible, now they want to kill the black man they claim they love. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Isn't that something? That's yeah. right. Sure. That is something. That's right. You better hear what the word of God said. This is a warning to the world. Amen. God said. For my thoughts. My thoughts. Are not your thoughts. Your thoughts will send you to hell. Your thoughts will lead you to sin. Yes, it your will. thoughts will make you blaspheme. Your thoughts will make you out of a liar. Your thoughts will make you lean to your own understanding. That's right. Your thoughts will make you rebellious against God's agenda. That's right. This is what your thoughts will do. That's right. And this is why I keep telling people, stop just coming to church, sitting, looking at me like a deer in headlights. <laughs> you better take this message and let it get in you. Oh, yes. Because this message is going to do two things. This message is going to save you or turn against you and damn you. That's right. One of the two. That's right. Amen. Get me? 
My thoughts are not your thoughts. My thoughts. They're not like yours. Neither are your ways my ways, Amen. saith I've, the Lord. I've, I've heard some men say, you act like you ain't human. <laughs> the reason why some say I act like I'm not human because I don't think like them. That's right. I'm always pointing to what's written. That's right. That's right. Can we get out the Bible a moment? You never out the Bible. <laughs> Even no. when you sin, you're in the Bible. That's right. When you're a fool, you're in the Bible. In the, in the Bible. Huh? That's right. Amen. That's right. No escape. No I don't care what it is, you're in the Bible. That's right. Amen. Your entire life is all in the Bible. Oh, yes. You will never get out of it to save your life. Let the wicked forsake his way. Do you hear this? In Isaiah 55 and at verse 7. Look at God's advice. Let the wicked forsake his way. Stay in it. Let the wicked forsake his way. That's why you sow against me. That, that's right. And that's why I tell the followers of the truth of God, all these folk that's fighting one message, what time do I got to fight with you? <laughs> Amen. That's right here in the truth. Amen. What time do I have to fight with you? Right here in the truth. That's right. All these heathens out here targeting one message, and the message just as strong oh, as yeah. it ever was. Oh, yeah. They're frustrated because they can't even put a crack in it. That's right. Nothing you say put a crack in it. That's right. And don't even put a hairline crack. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Not a crack the size of a gnat's eyelid That's in right. his left eye. That's right. It's all solid truth. Solid. Uh -huh. Let the wicked forsake his way. Let the wicked break off his way. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. Amen. Wait a minute. If you already unrighteous, meaning if you already wrong. You can't afford to bring your thoughts to the table. No way. No way. You're already unrighteous. You're already thinking like a fool. Amen. You cannot afford. I'm telling you, the wrong side to get on is God's wrong side. Oh, yeah. Right. If I get on the wrong side of the people, I have great satisfaction. <laughs> That's right. Because I don't care what a person think of me. You only can feel two ways, love me or hate me, and I'm satisfied with either. Yes. I love you, Pastor Jennings. All right, thank God for you. <laughs> I hate you, Pastor Jennings. All right, thank God for you. <laughs> but if heaven said, Jennings, I hate you. Mm. I'm going to tremble. Oh, yes. I'm not going to sleep. That's right. I'm turning my plate down. That's right. I don't care how many days I got to starve myself. Oh, yes. Hey, Amen. I, I, I got to mend things between me. Hallelujah. Come on, take off. I got to mend things between me and God. That's right. And if I got to mend things between me and God, it come a time you got to stop eating. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Why? Because something severe happened. That's right. And your approach towards that thing has to be greater than anything else. Oh, yes. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. Amen. Yeah, this message is designed of God to help the world, and we become so rebellious and won't yes. let it sink because we're too much caught up in our own yeah. selves. That's right. You better hear what the Holy Ghost is saying. Let the wicked forsake his way. Let the wicked. Break off his way and and the unrighteous and man the right unrighteous man his how thoughts. he think that's right and, and let him return unto the Lord now in order to return you had to leave him oh yeah, yeah. have you left the Lord? Hmm. My Lord did you do anything think anything say anything perform went anywhere cause you to leave the Lord that's right. You should know whether you're with God or not. Yeah. That's right. Shouldn't, no one else should have to tell you whether you're with God or not. No. Your relationship with God between you and him. That's right. You better make it personal. That's right. Some folk tell me when you preach, you seem like you make it personal. The Bible makes it personal. Oh, yeah. And if you're wise, you better make it personal. Oh, yes. That's right. God, just like everything you got, you got from God. Whatever you have, he's going to take it from you. Take it. When you die, you can't take nothing with you. That's right. 
I got sense enough to know what little material things God gave me. I'm not a fool. No. He, he going to take that stuff away from me. Oh, yeah. How he going to take it from me? Because I'm going to leave here one day. one day. Even if I don't die, I my plan, my agenda, which I hope is in compliance with God's agenda, <laughs> is right. to make the first resurrection. That's right. So if I don't die by going to the grave, I still got to leave here. That's, that's right. That God and everything that I had going to be left behind. Let the wicked forsake his way. Glory to God. Amen. And, and the unrighteous and man the unrighteous his thoughts. unrighteous man how he thinks. And let him return unto the Lord. Come back to God. Yeah. That's right. Uh -huh. And he will have mercy upon him. Wait a minute. Him. If you come back to him, what will he do? He will have mercy upon him. Amen. If you come back to him, what will he do? He will have mercy upon him. Now. For God to have mercy, obviously, he got something in mind That's right. that he's about to do to you That's yeah. right. that you have no knowledge of. That's right. That's right. God is about to do something to you. Oh, yeah. You can't see it. You don't know nothing about it. But if you want God to change his mind, Amen. he said what? Let him return unto the Lord. Come on back! That's it. That's right. Lord, anything Hallelujah. you got in mind to do to me Amen. that is unpleasant, change your mind! That's right. That's right. God had in mind to destroy Nineveh. Yeah. Nineveh, they didn't just pray. That's right. They fast. That's right. Went down in sackcloth and in ashes. Oh, yes. Yeah, and moved on heaven. That's right. Until God changed his mind. Oh, yeah. That's right. They fasting and they're praying. Move God. Oh yes. Until God changed his mind. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Don't you know you can get God to change his mind? Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. How do I do it? I've got to have a broken. That's right. Contrite heart. Right heart. That's right. That's right. Don't know whether God is closing in on me or not. Yeah. So I got to go in sackcloth and ashes. And ashes. That's right. Turn my plate down. That's right. And talk to God. Hallelujah. Change your mind. Hallelujah. Take me out of my pride. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help me to see things your way. That's it. That's right. Hallelujah. Take God. That's right. Change your mind. That's it. Help me to feel about it the way you feel. Yeah. Help me to see it the way you see it. Oh yes. Let me bow to it according to your will. That's but don't right. let me bow to your agenda. That's right. Amen. Let him return you unto the Lord. Father, God's agenda, God and his wisdom can put you in the same exact predicament. Yeah. That he put others in. That's right. The same. That's right. Exact predicament. That others are in. Oh yes. God can put you in the same thing. That's true. And make it worse. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. You ought to thank your God that God have lent you a preacher to warn you yeah. about the things of God. That's right. That's right. He's just lent to you. Do you hear this? Let the wicked forsake his way. And what? And the unrighteous man his thoughts. Get rid of how you think. And let him return unto the Lord. Let him return. 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 Yeah. 
Turn back to the one you left. That's right. But turn back to the one that gave you food. That's right. Shelter, clothing, eyesight, hearing, able to walk. Hallelujah. Everything turn, return back. That's right. That's right. Make sure your actions didn't cause you to leave God. Leave God. That one says, if I would have left God, I wouldn't be here. That's a lie. That's a lie. You can be here and still not with God. That's right. You just, you just among the people. Yeah. Anybody can be among the people, That's but right. not with God. That's right. Let's see. And let him return unto the Lord. And? And he will have mercy upon him. That's all I want is God's mercy. God's mercy. If I have his mercy, I got the world beat. Oh, yes. Give me, hallelujah, give me the mercy of God. Oh, yes. Because people won't be merciful. That's true. That's true. People think they get something on your brother, and they'll grind that stone and grind that stone. That's and true. Grind that stone and grind that stone, and they'll keep their feet on your neck until you die. That's right. But God, he will have mercy upon him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm laboring by God help. To move the way we think out and to move the way God think in. That's right. It is that mind that kept me from backsliding when I was a young teenager. Yeah. When the false prophet was relentless, trying to turn me against God and want me to put his thoughts, his mind, his feeling above God. That's right. In my early teens was when I first experienced the importance Putting God first and then letting God be your dread mm. and let him be your fear. Your fear. For it is written, he shall be for a sanctuary. sanctuary. Didn't the Bible say God is our refuge? That's right. That's true. I experienced that. That's false true. prophet called me everything but a child of God. And I'm oh. in my teens. Yeah. Yeah. Told me God didn't show me nothing. God didn't tell me nothing. When I told him about this work. He called me everything. Yeah. Forbid me to get married right in front of the church. He said, he if did. you and Sister Darlene get married, I hope you both drop dead at the altar. That's what he said. You remember that, way? Amen. We was only young teenagers. He said, yeah. I hope both of you fall dead right at the altar. That's right. Amen. That's I right. sat quiet. Yeah. Well, I didn't say nothing. Dottie was on the other side crying. After the service, I remember she came to me. What kind of man is this that's that will right. say something like that? I said, that's of the devil. Yeah. I said, don't you worry about him. You, just, right. you just do what I tell you. That's right. I said, don't you worry about him. He ain't going to marry us anyway. She couldn't see it. <laughs> she said, what you mean he ain't going to marry us? He's our leader. I said, I don't care if he's the devil out of hell. <laughs> he ain't marrying us, and he was my uncle. Amen. I can see what she couldn't. Right. I said, my father going to marry us. She said, how is he going to let him? I said, it ain't got nothing to do with what he going to let anybody go and do. <laughs> Wonderful, brother. What? I, w I was fully aware of God's agenda. Wonderful. Wonderful. The agenda of God was before me. Yeah. Wonderful. Hallelujah. God made known to me his agenda. That's good enough for me. That's right. Amen. The vision that God gave me about this work was God's agenda. Yes, it was. And I'm determined to follow it. Hallelujah. Glory oh, yeah. to God. That's I'm right. determined to follow it. I don't care who can't see it and who don't understand. I'm following that agenda. That's right. It's a divine pattern in front of me. Amen. Everybody can understand that pattern. Every nook and cranny. Amen. When I thank you waver, how can you think I waver off something that you couldn't even see? Who ever heard of something so foolish? My Lord, my Lord. Hallelujah. I had men come together and say, why don't you consult the elders before you buy a church? I said, well, how can I consult the elders when the church was here before the elders even got here? <laughs> That's right. The vision was given to me, not them. That's right. God spoke to Paul. Those who was around him heard the voice but didn't see no man. That's right. Because God was making Paul an apostle. He wasn't making them anything. No. Hallelujah. Why don't people just leave God and the vision he gave me alone and just enjoy it? While enjoy you it. Just That's enjoy right. It. Enjoy it. That's right. That's right. You're the one benefiting from it. That's right. 
That's right. That's the world is benefiting from it. That's right. Souls is coming to God. Souls are being fed. Amen. Don't interfere. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Don't interfere with God's agenda. That's right. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Amen. False prophet that I was under interfered with God's agenda and God took him out of here. Yes, he did. Everybody who interfered with God's agenda didn't repent. God took him out one way or the other. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. Do you hear this? Let the wicked let forsake the wicked his, way, leave his way and the unrighteous, the unrighteous man, man his, thoughts, his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord. Return to God. And he will have mercy upon him. Hmm. Hmm. I want God's mercy. Oh, yes. I don't, I don't need nobody else's oh, mercy. No. Amen. Amen. I say, what about if your mother be merciful? That's fine, but if I don't get it, I just don't get it. That's right. It won't trouble me. No. I won't lose sleep. If I don't have the mercy from my mama, and I love my mama. <laughs> Amen. But if I don't have my mama's mercy, I won't lose sleep no. and be tossing and turning. I want my mama mercy. I want my mama mercy. I want my mama mercy. No, I won't do that. No. But God mercy, God's mercy. determines my eternal life. Oh, yes. I, I, I hope you get this. You just stop coming to church on Sunday, sitting here in the message. You're serious for the moment. And when the message is over, you can't remember nothing. That's right. This is food for your life. Yeah. You listen at what the word of God is telling you, it'll build you up. Yes, it will. And give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified, regardless of what condition you're in. That's right. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Thank God, I've been through all kind of things, but the God of heaven has built me up. Yes, he has. The devil came back and tried to tear me down again, but I had to resort to God's method, God's agenda to get built up. I couldn't do it on my own. That's right. When you try to do it on your own and do it your way, you will never get built up. In fact, you'll get worse and worse. worse. Get me? And yeah. let him return unto the Lord. Return to God. And he will have mercy upon you. will have mercy on you. And to our God. And to our God. For he will abundantly he pardon. He will abundantly. Yeah. Abundantly and pardon. Yeah, give you a whole lot of forgiveness. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You want God to forgive you, you got to forgive everybody else. Everybody else. Yeah. Amen. That's right. You want to be able to get to a point in life before you depart this life. Where you're spiritual enough, you can say, oh, man, I can forgive anybody. Yeah. It don't even faze me. Yes. Out of all the things that people try to do to me and are doing, mm. I hold no grudges the size of a gnat's tumor. Wonderful. Wonderful. If a gnat had a tumor in his skull, <laughs> huh? if, he had a, if he had a brain tumor, there's not one That's wonderful. that I hold one thing against. That's wonderful. You know why? You're not worth it. No. My soul is above you. Yeah. Prioritize. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, you want everybody to be like you. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong answer. I don't want nobody to be like me. <laughs> That's right. I want you to be like Jesus. That's it. Be like the scriptures. Yeah. Thank God when he was on the cross and they beat him and pierced him. Yeah. In the midst of all that agony. All of that. Father! Forgive them. Forgive them. For they know not what they do. I had a Muslim challenge me on that. He said, you see how dumb that sound, Pastor Jennings? How in the world somebody going to be beating you and doing all this to you? And then Jesus going to say, they don't know what they're doing. They knew what they was doing. He said, would you not agree? I said, yes and no. Hmm. He said, all right, first tell me. How you agree with me? I said, yes, they did know what they was doing to the physical body. Right. He said, well, how is it you don't agree with me? I said, they had no idea it was fulfilling scripture. That's right. <laughs> they had no idea. No idea. Thank you, thank you. Scripture caught them. That's right. Zachariah declared they shall look upon me yeah. whom they have pierced. They have pierced. Zachariah saw the whole incident. Right. Said they're going to betray me for 30 pieces of silver. silver. He saw the whole, thing. the whole thing. It is written they beat him on the back with the smoking flax. That's right. 
Saw the whole thing. The whole thing. But they had no idea. Yeah. Is that Bible? For, yes. For the Bible known it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 8. Let's get Bible. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 8. That's what? Which none of the princes of this none world knew. None of the princes of this world knew. For had they known had it, they, known they it, would not, they would not have, crucified have crucified the Lord of the glory. Lord of glory. That's right. Hallelujah. If they knew they was fulfilling what was written, that's right. They wouldn't have touched them. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give chapter and verse again. First Corinthians chapter two and at verse eight. They were blind. That's right. None of the princes of this world. None. Knew. None. None. Hallelujah. You see how the scripture certifies itself. That's right. None of the princes of this world knew. For had, had they known it, they known it, they would not, they would not have crucified, had crucified the Lord of Glory. The Lord of Glory. That's right. They wouldn't have done nothing to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it wasn't God's will. Why? Why God hid that knowledge from them? Because then they would have got perhaps emotional. That's right. And God don't send prophecy for your emotions. Right. He sent prophecy to fulfill his will. That's it. That's right. That's Emotions right. can go any way it wants. God wants his will to be fulfilled. That's it. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, you know, this is all right. Isn't oh, it? yes. What did Jesus say? Back in St. Luke chapter 3 and verse 13. And he said unto them, exact no more. Exact. Jesus said, when I was hungry, you didn't feed me. Yeah. Naked, you didn't clothe me. In jail, you didn't visit me. Lord, when was you in these predicaments? What you do to my least ones? That's right. You do unto me. You do unto me. Exact no more. Exact no more than that this which is time appointed you. come by fasting and praying. Yeah. Exact no more. That's right. Amen. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew the Hallelujah. Spirit. Don't sit around and do nothing. Hallelujah. Follow his agenda. That's right. He that exalt himself shall be a base. But he that humble himself shall be exalted. Follow that agenda. Don't exalt yourself. You exalt yourself. Now you enter, you're enter. you bothering God's agenda. That's right. It isn't God's agenda for man to come up on his own. It's yeah. God's That's agenda right. that he brings him up. Oh, That's yeah. right. In other words, God will exalt you in due time. In due time. Oh, yes, I bear witness of it. Oh, you yes. know, God don't exalt people a lot of time when they think it, but they should because they can't handle it. That's right. So God wait and bring it at the right time. That's right. God didn't give us all of this when I was in the basement. No. As young as I was, I probably couldn't handle it. I probably would have got swell headed like a whole lot of another a whole lot of these juggernauts out here. <laughs> Amen. Yeah? That's right. So he brought it at the right time. At the right time. When my mind and heart and my spirit was seasoned enough. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, 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 got, I can answer this prayer now. He can handle That's it. That's right. Wonderful. Yeah? Wonderful. I can answer this prayer for him now. I got him where I want him right now. He can handle that. Nice. All right, Lord, give me such and such and such a thing. All right, I'm, I'm, all right, I'll answer that maybe three, in three years, perhaps. Perhaps <laughs> I'll do that in three years because if I give it to you now, I don't feel as though you're ready, even <laughs> if you think you are. So I'll wait three years. Then i give you that. Aye. Lord. Hallelujah to God. Wonderful. Do you see what I'm talking? Oh, Amen. Yeah. Here a little. There a little. Here a little. Yeah. That's exactly the way I've experienced God's blessings. Yes. Here a little, yeah. there a little. Right. Here a little, there a little. When I start out pastoring, looking at the visions that God gave me, never told me when, never told me where, I thought the thing would happen right away. Yeah. God brought me his agenda, but I didn't understand it. You know, you can bring somebody into something. That don't mean they understand it. That's right. Sometimes when you don't want to understand it, you fight it. But if it's God's agenda, if you don't want to understand it, just be slow. That's right. I mean, you better be so slow until you don't hardly move. Amen. So I didn't understand it. I, I thought that that great thing will happen so fast. And here I'm in the basement one year, two year, three year, four year. 
five years. Oh, we would heat up the basement by putting a big pot of water on the stove. <laughs> I thought I would have central air. <laughs> central heat. Here we put That's pots right. on a stove. I'm saying to myself, I didn't see pots in the vision. <laughs> Lord, I didn't see no pots in the vision, Lord. <laughs> I didn't see no pots. Amen. Amen. But I waited. Glory to God. Yes, you did. Down there five years. That's right. Then from there we went to Briar Road, renting an Episcopalian fellowship hall. We was there for a few years, and it was there where God put us over the air. From there, everything was based upon God's timing. That's yeah. right. Just like you that heard the word of God, it's based upon God's timing. That's right. God used COVID in such a time yeah. where he made thousands hear this program for the first time that never knew it exists. Amen. So many folk were sitting home. Amen. Churches closed up. Well, you know, they ran up on this and got hooked. Six with COVID, getting the hook coughing. <laughs> All gagging. I want, to, I want to be baptized. <laughs> huh? Amen. God used COVID. That's right. Several thousands of people. That's when they caught this program during the COVID pandemic. My Lord. Never heard it. My Lord. Never heard the baptism. Never heard that it was one God. Never heard it. And God used a pandemic. He can use what he wants. Yes, he did. But whatever he used, whatever he used. it will never violate his agenda. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Get this. And he said unto them, exact no more than that which is appointed you. I want you to remember this. Amen. Holy Ghost wants you to remember. Yeah. Exact no more. No more. Then that which is appointed you. One scripture says they shall proceed no further. No further. Don't ever tamper with God's agenda. Not in your mind, not in your heart, right. and not in your deeds, and not out of your mouth. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. Stay with the confines. Of God's agenda. You know, so when I bring Bible to people, they try to take the Bible and prove me wrong with it. <laughs> and they're followers. Lord. And God made me their teacher, and they want to fight me with the Bible. That, that, yeah. Amen. Well, they both be winning that fight. Don't you know Williams done tried that <laughs> through the years? <laughs> yeah. Right. Williams done tried that all through the years. Right. Amen. And he lost it a long time. Amen. Once in a while, he still rise up. Once in a while. He once still rise up once in a while. That's right. Amen. I wait for him. <laughs> when he rise up, I wait. I don't, I don't just, you know, tell him to back off. I, in fact, I, I stop right. telling him to back That's off. Right. I guess let him come on. Lord, God, That's I lean true. on a rope with scriptures, and he comes <laughs> jump up swinging. I guess lean it. <laughs> he come to me right away with that finger. That's right. That's right. I'm leaning on the scriptures. That's right. Sometimes he tell me he had that. Sometimes he tell me, oh, I'm telling you. Sometimes we just saying that. Let me see you come out of that. <laughs> the Bible says this, and the Bible says that. He this, and then when he really think he got something. We must snap his finger. He, uh, he, he snapped his finger and then he go, uh-huh. You see? I love it though. I love it. I do, I love it. Church, Amen. church is a family. Yeah. Don't let your own mind and your own heart and your own thoughts. Towards each other. Right. Interfere with God's agenda. That's right. Because you've got to remember the scripture says this. Right. What you do to my least, least ones. You do unto me. The thoughts you have about him or her. What you've done uh, towards him or her. Did you know you said it, thought it, and done it 
to Jesus. Verily I say unto you. Verily mean truly. Give chapter and verse in Matthew. Matthew chapter 25 and at verse 40. Yeah, hear, 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 hear this. Yeah. You write this scripture down and read it every day. <laughs> Matthew 25 and at verse 40. Hear me now. And the king shall answer and say the unto them. The king shall answer and say to him. Verily I say unto you. Verily I say unto you. Inasmuch as ye have and done it. as much as ye have done it. Unto one of the least of one. these, yes, my one. brethren. One. You got to do it to a whole lot of folks. That's right. That's right. Said it, thought it, planned to do it. I don't care what it is. Amen. What? Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one. One. Of the least of these, my brethren. If it's just the least one in the congregation. Ye have done it unto me. So what you done, doing, got in mind to do to that brother, to that sister, that elder, that mother, you bear in mind. That's right. If you're tampering with God's agenda, yeah. your plans is to disrupt Jesus. That's right. That's right. Yeah, man. Amen. Yeah, get this. Verily I say unto you. Jesus, the Bible talking here. And the king shall answer. Don't get, 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 take your eyes off, Pastor Jennings. That's right. If you take it personal, you're better. You'll be a fool not to. Amen. Everybody in here and everybody watching, take the word of God personal. Okay. Make it personal. Yeah. You, your mama, your father, your wife, your husband, your children, make it. Take it personally. That's right. One day, you're not going to get up in the morning. That's true. Yeah. Your husband going to shake you. You won't be able to move. Oh, yes. Your wife going to shake you like my mother did my father. Mm. Amen. The last message my father preached was on a Wednesday. Came back to church that Thursday. By early Friday morning, 12 midnight or 12.30 or quarter to one that Friday morning, she was laying in bed next to him, talking to him. She got up, went and used the bathroom, come back in that short lift of time, got right back in bed, talking back to her husband, my father. Yeah. He was gone and she didn't know it. She was, just, she was just talking. My Lord. And he wasn't responding. He was still just there, hands crossed like he always do, laying on his back. She got right back in bed under the covers, curled up under Ernest, right. talking. Ernest, so and so and so, Ernest, yeah. so and so and so. God, in His wisdom, wouldn't take him while she was there. Yeah. She left, and then God came, took him, and then she came back with no idea that God visited. Yeah. She got right back in bed, struck up the conversation where it was left off. No response. No response. No response. Then she's, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Put the hand up there, mirror to the nose, nothing. My Lord. Jumped up. Called my brother Chris and then called me. I was living in Yaden, Pennsylvania at the time. He said, Gino, Bishop ain't breathing. I said, what you mean he ain't breathing? He's not breathing. I said, I'll be right there. That's By the time I got there, Deke was giving him mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, but Deke was breathing so much air in him until his stomach was going up like a balloon, and then Deke would put both hands and push it back down, and the air, you know when the air go out of the balloon and the noise the balloon made? Yeah. I said, where it was coming out of here? His tongue was rattling. I told Deke, I said, just stop it. God took it. Just stop it. He said, but he said, but Gene, I said, just stop it. If God want him back, God would have brought him. Yeah. Even when I got there, I started praying. Yeah. Pray, pray, and I stopped praying. Mm -hmm. I, I actually stopped praying. I got up off my knees and stopped praying and told him, don't, don't work on him no more. Uh -huh. He said, Gene, I said, no, 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 no. God wanted him. And when God wants you, Nothing you can do. Yes. Yes. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Oh, yeah. And that 
few minute or two of her going to the bathroom and back, God took him out of time. Yeah. Right into eternity. Shut his heart down, snatched his breath. You know, most time if a person have a massive heart attack and they find that individual like that, they got, they, they got their chest clenched. Yeah. No massive nothing. Nothing was clenched. Mm. Didn't even change complexion. Just sitting there. Face wasn't disfigured, nothing. Just sitting there. My Lord. I wanted to see his eyes, so I went over and opened one of them. Eyes didn't change color, nothing. Wow. Took him out of time into eternity. Yeah. Your last act on earth better not be tampering. With God's agenda. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, how will I know that's God's agenda? When that deed or that act is in compliance with the Bible, yeah. that's God's agenda. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Holy Ghost said what? And he said unto them exact no more. Don't do no more. Than that which is supported. Than what you. the Bible said. That's it. That's it. No more. Are you listening to this? Oh yeah. Well, Sometimes I really feel as though we ain't getting through to you. Don't do no more. Than that which is appointed you. All of no us more. as an individual got an appointment from Scripture to do Amen. God's will. Amen. And you know how you fulfill God's will? It's not just by what you do with self. That's right. It's what you do towards each other. That's right. That's right. I might say, I got to come up to that. <laughs> Let me tell you how tough it is to get in the kingdom. Before you step a half inch in the kingdom, you got to love everybody with the love of Christ yeah. or go to hell. Or go to hell. That's right. It isn't one person, one, that you cannot be, you cannot forgive and you can't be emotionally handicapped where you say, oh, I can never forgive him. You then you're going him. to hell. Then you're going. That's right. If it's just one. That's right. That's right. Not one! Can you hate? Mm -mm. Right. If you hate anybody, you're on your way to hell your right way. then. That's right. Even if you hate them, but you're still living. You're on your way to hell while you're hating them. That's right. That's right. Only thing that puts your brakes on, you got to come out of the hate rim. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Then? And he said unto them, exact no more than that which is appointed. Any of you in here hate anybody, you're on your way to your hell way. now. I don't care how much you jump or shout or That's speak true. in tongue, your hate will send you to hell. He that saith he is in the light. Hear this. In 1 John chapter 2 and at verse 9. He that saith he is in the light. And hateth his brother. And hateth his brother. Is in darkness. He's a sinner. Even until now. But I'm speaking in tongue. Is in darkness even until now. I come to check. Is in darkness even until now. You thought I made it up, didn't you? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. See how the Holy Ghost makes me preach these things for your safety and for your protection. That's I right. mean to get into the kingdom of God. That's right. And I'm determined to tell you the truth regardless. Yeah. Do you hear what the word of God says? First John chapter 2 yeah. and verse 9. Do you hate anybody? Hmm. From your past or your present? Lord. Mm. I don't even hate people that hate me. <laughs> so true. why do you hate them? Wonderful, brother. I don't like folk want to do no harm. Well, I don't, you know, it don't bother me now. I don't hate them. Right. I get joy out of it. Right. Don't say that's because something wrong with you. What's wrong with me is what's right with me. <laughs> I look at it as the scriptures being fulfilled in my life, and then I count it joy. The Bible says, count it all, all joy when joy. you fall into direst temptation, yeah. knowing the working of your faith 
Work as patient. Patience. Let patience have a perfect work. That's right. That's right. That's right, Frank. When I find out people hate me and all that stuff, it, it puts joy in my soul. <laughs> when I see them, try, when I think of how the people's tried to destroy the church, call up the city to try to shut down Frankfurt Avenue, and it wasn't God's will for no city to shut down no Frankfurt. No. It was God's will for us to walk out, and we walked out with joy. That you didn't suppose they burned this church down. I'm not worried. <laughs> That's right. What you going to do? We have Bill. Wonderful. Bill, better than this. Amen. 200,000 square feet. We have Bill way better than this. Wonderful, brother. It'll be a memorial to God's greatness. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. Listen at this. He that saith he is in the light. He that say he's in God. And yeah. hateth his brother. He that say he's in God. In God. That's and you right. hate who? His brother. What? Is in darkness even he's until now. Yeah. Someone said, Pastor Dennis, how I can understand that I'm in sin if I'm like that. But how can you say I'm a sinner Sin when a sinner is one that commit acts of sin? Right. That hate keep going. That's right. You's a sinner. That's right. Get me. Yeah. He that saith he is in the light. He that say he is in God. And hateth his brother. And before you say somebody hate you, know what you're talking. You know what you're, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Because somebody may feel you hate them. Yeah. Well, Father Daniel, how can someone feel like that? I didn't do nothing. That don't stop somebody from feeling it. Right. No. I ain't do nothing to these people that watch us over the air but preach the gospel. That's right. I don't even know them. That's right. But what? They say I'm mean. No, you're not. <laughs> they say I'm mean. They say I'm high-minded. They say I'm arrogant. They say I think I'm the only one right because I won't bow. I'm not a prisoner of the Roman Catholic theology like they are. That's right. I'm a prisoner of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, not to the Pope of Rome. <laughs> Amen. I don't need Rome to approve nothing of what I preach or the synagogues to approve what we preach. I don't want nobody approval That's but God. Right. That's right. That's right. That's what concerned me. God's approval. Amen. The Bible says, study to show thyself, approve unto God a workman. Needeth not to be ashamed. That's right. Rightly divide the word of you. That's right. What did he say, William? He that saith he is in the light. He that say he is in God, in the light, in the truth, in holiness. And hateth his brother. Hate his brother. Is in darkness. You, you in sin. Even until now. Even until now, and it's 229, Sunday <laughs> afternoon. Amen. Right now, he's a sinner. That's right. That's right. That's right. But if they got the Holy Ghost, how can they do this? Shut your mouth. Shut, shut your mouth. You got the Holy Ghost. How did you do what you done? Right. Am I right, I said? Amen. You got the Holy Ghost. How did you do what you done? What you How did you think the way you think? Oh, yeah. So before you throw that off on somebody else, look at yourself. That's right. And ask yourself that and then see how easy it was. That's right. It's more easy to sin than it is to live holy. Oh, yeah. Isn't it? Oh, yes. What did he say? He that saith he is in the light. He that saith he is in the light. And hateth his brother. Hate his brother. Is in darkness. He's in sin. Even until now. Until right now. He that loveth his brother. He that loveth his brother. Abideth in the light. What? He that loveth his brother. Where does he stay? Abideth in the light. He stay in the truth. He stay in God. And there is none occasion of There's stumbling in him. There is none occasion. Of stumbling in him. As long as he's in that light, he won't stumble. He won't make a mess. He won't trip up. But he that hateth his brother. He that hateth his brother. Is in darkness and walketh in darkness. He's not only in sin, he's living in sin. He's walking in sin. And knoweth not whether he goeth. He don't know where he's going. Because that darkness has that blinded darkness his eyes. That darkness has blinded his eyes. His eyes. And that's the problem with some folk in church. You're blind to your own brothers and sisters who mean you no harm and you hate them. That's true. That's right. Devil got you hating him. Devil got you hating her. Yep. 
That's devil true. got you hating them. That's well, true. if they didn't hate me, why would they do this? Right. Oh, yeah. All right, then if you didn't hate them, why would you do this? Right. If you didn't hate God, why would you do wrong towards him? Right. A magnet of God brought you that argument. Because God said, he that loved me mm. will keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. Yeah. Now, can you honestly say you're keeping God's commandments? He that saith, I know him. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. First John yeah, chapter yeah, 2. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. First John chapter 2 and that verse 4. See how the Bible makes it fair? <laughs> That's right. Bible lets you do all that talking, then it slap you, just slap you right in the mouth. Amen. When you want to toss it on somebody else, God say, oh, wait a minute. What about this? What about this? What about this? First John chapter 2 and verse 4. What saith it? He son? that saith, I know Lord him. God, he that say, I know him. And keepeth not his commandments. He that say, I know him. He that say, I know God. Let us know there's only one God him. giving out commandments. That's right. Only one to know. He that saith, I know him. He that say, I know him. And keepeth not his commandments. And don't keep his commandments. Is a liar. And the truth is not in him. Well, that eliminates what you said. <laughs> That's right. Because the Bible taught. That's right. Pastor Jenny, you mean to tell me? That my name ain't John. <laughs> no. First John chapter I don't mean to tell four. you nothing. That's right. God said you're this. He that saith I know him. He that say I know him. And keepeth not his commandments. And don't keep what he ordered. Keep what he said. Is a liar. What? Is a liar. And the truth. Oh, oh, oh. Amen. But fasting and praying and coming to church is a liar. Hmm. Speaking in tongues is a liar. Hell, the anointing is a liar. Performing baptisms is a liar. Hmm. Being ordained a minister is a liar. Reading for the preacher is a liar. <laughs> On the choir. Is a liar. Cameraman. A liar. Soundman. Is a liar. On the choir director. Is a liar. Play the instruments. A liar. President of the brotherhood. A liar. A brother in the brotherhood. A liar. On security. A liar. Clean the church. A liar. Usher. A liar. Come on. The Holy Ghost says what? He that saith I know him. And keepeth not his commandments. And don't keep his instructions. Is a liar. And what? And the truth is not in him. That means you don't respect what you say. Mm. That's right. My Lord, my Lord. I feel like getting under this thing, Pastor. You go ahead. Let's <laughs> go. On. You better go and get under there. Man, look, just hide under there. In other words, oh, God man. knock all that boastrous talk out. That's right. And the scriptures bring us back to reality. That's it. What you do to each other, you're doing it to Jesus. That's, That's right. True. That's right. When you say, I hate that brother, I hate that sister, you say you hated Jesus. Yeah. Mm. I can hate that brother, I can hate Jesus. That's right. I can kill that sister, I can kill Jesus. On, My Jay. Lord. That's why I tell the folk, you better shut your mouth. That's it. That's right. Mm. This is one of those powerful oh, yeah. scriptures. Oh, yes. You don't find many folks shaking off this scripture. No. No you way. You don't find that. Yeah, 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 No bird calls. <laughs> None of that. None of that. None of that. No, no. Them one of them scriptures, brother, that make you sit and ponder. Oh, yes. And look at yourself, and you got to admit how guilty you are over and oh, over Lord. and over. And here's God telling you to your face. That's right. You're a liar. A liar. Paying tithes, paying off and on the on auxiliaries, coming to church and all that stuff. And here's God is calling you. A liar. Do you hear? Do you hear? He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. 
and the truth is not in him. You don't even observe his commandments. You have no respect for them. My Lord. Right. He says, not only are you a liar. And the truth. He says, what he teaches. Is not in him. Not even in you. Mm. Well, how can he say that, Pastor Jenner, when I'm sitting getting the word in me? If you're getting it in you, he wants you to put it into practice. That's right. That's it. Sitting here and it get in your ear ain't good enough for God. That's right. God wants you to put what he tell you to practice. Yeah. If you're not willing to practice it to him, it's not even in you. Not in you. That's true. Mm. You don't get no recognition. Mm. So now he tell you how he feel about you. He that saith, I know him. Hear me, world, hear this. He that saith, I know him. Give chapter and verse again. First John chapter 2 and at verse 4. Don't blame Pastor Jennings. I didn't write it. No. No. Don't tamper with God's agenda. That's it. You don't understand it? Shut your mouth up about it. Yeah. Well, I don't agree with it. Go tell God that. See what happens. That's right. See what happens. I got to come up to that. That's your business. You better shut your mouth up about it. That's right. Whatever I got to come up to in the Bible mm -hmm. doesn't affect my feelings about it. Right. Notice what I said. Right. Whatever I got to come up to the Bible, the things that I come up to, I don't feel ill towards it. That's it. See, if you know you got to come up to something, and yet that thing, you feel ill towards it, right. you in trouble. That's right. Jesus said, blessed That's right. is he that is not, not offended, offended in me. In me. In so me. if you're offended by what it said, you're not blessed. You're cursed. Cursed. Because he made it plain, blessed is he That's right. who is not offended, not in, offended me. in me. And if there's something in here that you've got to perform and you don't feel as though it should be performed, and yet it's part of God's agenda. You're cursed. cursed. Because it offends you. That's nothing, right. here, hear me, nothing in this Bible offends me. Right. It's a lot hurt me. Uh -huh. Right. But it don't offend me. Right. You know how you can tell it offends you? Your whole attitude changed as a result of it. That's right. When your attitude changed. As a result of something in that Bible, you got offended. That's right. Because when you agree with something, yes. your attitude don't change. Yes. But when your attitude changes about something that's compliant with the Bible, it's offensive to you. Offensive. And you're cursed. That's right. For he said, blessed is he who is not offended in me. And if the actions of the Bible offends you, you are cursed. cursed. And a cursed person ain't going into the kingdom of God. No way. That's true. What is your status now? Hmm. What is your status now? Are you blessed or cursed? Which is it? The whole lot in that Bible hurt me. Oh, yes. Nothing offends me. That's right. Did you hear me? Like my roughness hurt a lot of people in preaching. Yeah. But yet, some of the same ones is not offended with the way I sound, but I hurt them. Right. Right. They ain't got those that are offended and hurt. Offended. He could have said hurt. it nicer than that. Right. I'm not the sugar daddy. Amen. You want your sugar daddy, you better go back to the old rotten preacher you came from. Yeah. God made me a preacher. Oh, yes. This recipe book have no sweets. That's right. No sugar. Everything, all the food is flooded with salt. Flooded with it. Flooded with it. <laughs> That's I thought right. all the food is flooded with salt. That's right. We use no sugar. No sugar. That's God's agenda. Amen. So now you tell me, what is your status? Lord help me. Are you blessed? Mm. Or are you cursed? You judge. Yeah. And if you're cursed in one thing, that's right. That one thing got you on your way to hell, 
And he's a liar right now. Right now. I said right now. He that saith I know him. He that say I know him. And keepeth not his commandments. Don't respect his order. Is a liar. And what? And the truth is not in him. What are you? Mm. What are you? Be honest with yourself. And if you're a liar, you know you ain't ready to meet God. No way. And if you admit you're a liar, like the Bible says, you know you ain't got time to look at nobody but you. That's right. Because now you got to work on yourself to gather this lie in. <laughs> Nothing in the Bible Lord helps. should offend you. Right. That's right. But it should hurt you. That's right. Blessed is he. That is not offended in me. There's a whole lot in that Bible. Hurts me from head to toe. Oh, yes. But ain't nothing in here offend me. Amen. I'm not offended by nothing Jesus gave his apostles. Nothing. But I am wounded from head to toe. Wounded, yeah. That's what God's purpose is. To hurt you. He ain't bring the word to offend you, he brought it to hurt you. Right. That's right. It's a rock of offense to both the houses of Israel. But that offense is talking about hurting you. Right. Blessed is he. That's a strong scripture. Strong. Who yeah. is not offended in Blessed me? Blessed is he. He's, listen at this. In Luke chapter 7 and verse 23. Is anything according to God's agenda offend you? Judge yourself. Is it anything about God's agenda that offends you? Did you ever say anything out of your mouth that shouldn't came out? Right. Pertaining to God's agenda because you were so offended by it. Did you think anything? That's right. Did you find yourself trying to do anything to alter God's agenda? What do you mean God's agenda? If that thing according to the Bible, did you try to change it? Did you try to alter it? Did you try to stop it? Judge yourself. You can talk to Pastor Jennings all day, brother and sister, but you can't change this. No. This is just as plain as the nose on your face. That's right. Now, if you don't like your nose, you try taking it off <laughs> and come to church mm. noseless. Noseless. And I asked you, brother, what happened to you? I met, look, my nose was in the way. <laughs> Every time I try to read the Bible, my nose was in my way, so I figured I'd take it off. Take it off. I'll put it back when I get on, Pastor Jennings. <laughs> <laughs> you know that ain't happening. No. We got a lot to come up to, don't we? Yes, we do. I've been telling you for years, take your eyes off people. You better stop looking at people because the devil used that as a distraction. Yes, he will. You see, God never brings something in your life that distracts you from him. Sometimes the devil gives you a feeling, and you think it's God. Yeah. Give you a feeling, and when that thing distracts you from God, that wasn't God dealing with you. That's right. That's right. How is God going to tell us to focus on him, and now you can't focus on him because of what you're dealing with, brother? Yeah. I had a brother come to me and tell me, man... God showed me this. God showed me that. He said, now I can't even talk to God. I said, God ain't bring you that stuff. <laughs> I said, God ain't a God that bring a distraction. That's right. I said, that's confusion. That's right. That's right. The brother even told me, Pastor Jesus, I feel confused now. He said, why would God do that to me? I said, he didn't. <laughs> God spoke plain in Corinthians. That's right. It is written that God is not that's the author of confusion, but peace. Peace. Wonderful. As in all the churches. Yeah. Blame all that stuff on God. You That's see, true. I look at everything from Bible, what, from what Scripture says. From the Bible. So I don't lie on him. That's right. I don't want to lie on him. Oh, you ain't going to get me to tell you God said something or God showed me anything and God did not God say it or say show it. it. You right. ain't getting me to do it. Oh, no. <laughs> I understand the consequence. I ain't trying to prove to you how spiritual I am. That's right. I ain't trying to prove nothing to you. That's right. <laughs> nothing I said. That's oh. right. God ain't said it, I'm shutting up. That's that simple. Amen. 
I don't care what Brother Papa, the Lord showed me, the Lord showed me. All right, you can think he's the great spiritual whatever. My interest is be on God's side. That's it. Because when that spirit dies, I want to know is he on God's side. I don't care if you're so much in the spirit, you can go back before Christ was born in the flesh. Your spirit take you back. Lord. Until now you're walking along with the kings that saw the star. And now you're walking right towards Nazareth. Right with him. Took you all back. You saw in the spirit. Took you back. Now you're right with them. <laughs> Standing right with them. Lord have mercy. With the camels and all, with a three-piece suit on. <laughs> Until now, you got a gift you bring it. Here you, you got a gift. Got a gift from Lord and Taylor to bring the Lord. <laughs> they looking at your gift. What kind of gift is that? <laughs> Are you going to bring an iPad? <laughs> Old modern gift. He's so spiritual. It threw you back in time. You ain't got an iPad. Hmm? Sure. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? I'm taking this route to show you. I don't care how spiritual you think you are. Nope. What you said, what you done, what you got in mind to do, how you think, how you feel. Does it put you on God's side or does it make you God's enemy? That's right. Do it bring you closer to God? Or now did you perform a gap between you and him? That's right. Let me show you what bring a gap between us and God. In the book of Isaiah chapter 59. Isaiah chapter 59. Follow me. Isaiah chapter 59 and we're starting at verse 1. You better get these scriptures in you. It's for your safety and protection. That's right. Uh -huh. Isaiah 59 verses 1 and 2. Yeah. Behold the Lord's hand is not shortened. The Lord has. It's not shortened that he can't say. No. Neither his ear heavy that he cannot hear. Neither is his ear overloaded. That it cannot so hear. So heavy that he can't hear. But your iniquities. Your iniquity. Have separated. Have brought a separation. Between you and your God. I told you. Yes. I'd rather be separated with you. That's right. That's right. Oh yeah. I'd rather be separated with you. Yeah. Me and the brother separate. All right. <clears throat> But I don't want me and God. That's right. God can bring a brother to replace him. Yeah. That's Nobody right. can replace God. <laughs> Hear this? But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. And what? And your sins have... Your sins. Have hid his face from you. Has hid his face from you to what degree? That he will not hear. He, you're praying and he won't pay you no mind. He won't even hear your very hear. prayer. Mm. Are you paying attention to the lesson? Yes! It's something. Imagine praying and crying and snotting, and God won't even pay you no mind because of what you've done to him. That's right. You better hear this message and run to God fast as Hallelujah. you can. Or be a stubborn, arrogant, self righteous fool. And die and go to hell. That's right. Let us remember, everybody is replaceable. That's right. That's right. You didn't know that? What about you, Pastor Jennings? I said everybody. Everybody. You, Pastor Jennings? God said he had take down one yeah. and raise up another. Raise up another. So who am I? I'm not a fool. That's right. It is written, he had take down one. Another scripture says, let one die and let another take, take, his, office. Office. take his office. That's written. Yeah. Another scripture says, let one die and let another take his bishopric. bishopric. That's written. Yeah. So if I don't think higher than I ought to think, what's wrong with you? <laughs> That's right. You think you can't be replaced? Sometimes you feel like a nut and sometimes you don't. <laughs> Are you that silly? That's right. Are you that so into yourself? You think you can't be replaced? Mm. God replaced Moses with Joshua. Yeah. That's true. One prophet was ascended up, was translated, and the mantle fell on another. That's, That's right. right. That's Didn't right. it? That's yeah. right. 
And as God worked with the one, when Moses was taken away, and the fellow, the power of God and the anointing of God was with Joshua, Joshua took them on into Canaan. Yeah. That's right. When the mantle fell on one prophet, Elijah, when Elijah was taken away, he took the garment and smote it. Where's the God of Elijah? Elijah. That's right. And the water separated. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you something. Everybody, everybody, every human uh -huh. can be replaced. And God got so tired of Israel one time, he was ready to wipe out the entire nation. And then he let them know that he can replace the whole nation. That's right. He said, I'll raise up a nation that will obey. That's obey. True. You didn't know that? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't know that you were expendable? Hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> we are the expendables. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Amen. Write that down. Take note of that. <laughs> we are who? Everybody. Everybody. You viewer, you're expendable. Oh, yes. You only here by God's mercy. Or before long, you're going to check out. Acts 2 38 says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Exact this scripture right here. That's right. This is an appointment that everybody appointed. must follow. Yeah. Appointed once. You got this to obey. Exact no more than what's appointed, appointed you. you. And this scripture right here is an appointment of God for the world. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Ask God to forgive you That's for right. being a fool. And what? And be baptized. How much? Every one of yes. you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. He baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for what? For the remission of sins. This is what God, this is God's agenda. Agenda. That he established to get your sins washed away. And ye shall and receive. And ye shall receive. The gift of the Holy Ghost. You'll be filled with God. That's right. Washed and cleansed and filled with God. Anybody here want to obey this and be baptized the right way? In the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful. All of you that are standing, you sisters, come to the front where the sisters are. You brothers, follow the brothers that's coming down there. Leave them. Wonderful. Amen. Remember the message today. Yeah. And he said unto them, exact no more. Exact no more. Give chapter and verse again. Uh, St. Luke chapter 3 and verse 13. Exact no more. No more. Than that which is appointed you. Now don't walk out of here like you haven't heard nothing. That's right. That's right. That's right. Is that me or you? I don't know. It must be you. All right. Mother Bessie Fenizi. She here? All right. After the benediction is given, they want you to stop at the financial office, sister. All right? All right. Exact no more. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. Amen. We're glad for them that's obeying the appointment. You that are watching, remember, God have an agenda. God does. Don't touch it. No. That's right. Don't voice your opinion about it against it. If you don't understand it, ask God to give it understanding. That's right. Don't hate it. Don't speak ill of it. No. Because that Bible ain't changing. No. Don't you be so boastful. I don't believe that's God's agenda. Go ahead, talk your way into hell. Huh. You better not even throw your arms against God's agenda. Somebody tell you God's agenda, That's you right. better not even do this. That's right. I want to say what? That's disrespect. That's disrespect. That's true. Yeah. At God's agenda? Hmm. Not saying away from it. That's Get it out of here. I don't want it. Go to hell with your body language you're presenting That's right true. now. Yeah. The Bible talks about your actions are weighed. weighed. That's written. That's uh -huh. right. I say that's written. Your actions 
or weigh it. The Bible is your scale. Yes. And God weighs the actions. Amen. Didn't know that, did you? In the book of 1 Samuel chapter get, 2. Yeah, let's get Bible quickly. 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 3. That's right. Talk no more so exceedingly Don't you proudly. Talk no more so uh, exceedingly proud. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. Why, Williams? For the Lord is a God of knowledge. And, and by him, what happened? Actions are weighed. Amen. Amen. Somebody tell you something about the Bible? Yeah. yeah. Actions. What? For, for the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him, actions are weighed. You hear the Bible say what, what, what to do? Amen. And here's God's agenda being performed. You put your middle finger up at it. And by him, actions are weighed. That's true. That's true. God will judge your actions. Actions. Your body language will be a witness against you. Mm. Why? Because he made your body for his glory. He didn't make you to cuss him. That's right. That's right. What? For the Lord is a God of knowledge. You out there partying, bumping, and grinding. Those are actions. Actions. Amen. Mm. He's going to judge him. The yeah. Bible says you, you, every man going to give an account to God for the deeds done in his body. Done. That's right. Actions. Actions are weighed. Why are they weighed? Because some actions are more sinful than others. Mm. I want to say, how is that, Pastor Genesis, when the Bible said, all unrighteousness is sin? That's true. All wrong is a criminal act, right. but you got a felony. Right. And you got a misdemeanor. That's right. Yet it all come under breaking a law. That's right. But it's a felony and a misdemeanor. You got fornication with the woman, and you got abomination with a man. That's right. That's right. Abomination with a man is a felony. A <laughs> felony. That's right. And you a man? That's right. Am I right? That's right. Yet they both are sin. Amen. A man with a woman ain't married. Fornication. Fornication. A man with the man, uh, abomination. Abomination. Felony. That's right. Hey, you. Take a piece of candy. Misdemeanor. Carjack. Then rape the, and then kill him. Mm. Felony. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yet all unrighteousness is a sin. But your actions is weighed. Oh, Some of your actions carry more weight towards hell. That's right. Because your actions can become so weighty, they're unforgivable. Mm. That Bible, I say there is a sin that you should not pray for. Pray for. You see how quiet it is? If any man see his brother sin a sin. Yeah, listen at this. In 1 John chapter 5 and at verse 16. Say what? If any man see if his any brother. any man see his brother sin a sin, sin which is, not, sin unto which is death, not unto death he shall ask he shall ask and he shall give him life and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death that what you mean he shall ask and shall give him life you going to pardon him right and there is a sin oh unto death there is a sin amen unto that death that carry you right to the grave i do not say that he shall pray for it prayer won't even help you mm. That sin will make you lose out through our all eternity. Prayer and fasting won't even do. Prayer and fasting won't even touch God's ears. My Lord. It won't even move God's heart. Mm. Until the Bible says. There is a sin unto there death. Is a sin unto death. I do not say that he shall pray for it. Is that you? Mm. Take your eyes off everybody. That's you better true. take these instructions and stop being a hard head fool. That's true. Take your eyes off everybody. Is this you today? Mm. Did you commit a sin that not even prayer can change? Because if prayer can't change it and don't bring God ears to you, mm. you are 
doomed to an everlasting hell. My Lord. This is why it's important that you get the word of God in you. Yeah. Not just come to church and hear it. That's right. And then you all caught up in the way you think, brother, and the way you think, sister, until the word of God can't even get in your mind and heart. And then when you leave church, it's just like you ain't been here. You don't ponder over what the word of God said. You just ponder over what's in your old fool mind. Hmm. That this overrides your mind. This is a mind protector. That's right. You will destroy yourself the way you think. Yeah. Or you will let the devil destroy you. Yeah. The Lord have covered a lot of ground today. Yes, he did. Yeah. All right. I'm on back. Prayer will begin at 5 o'clock, God willing. Let us all stand. Elder Dan Thompson will close us out in prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we do thank you again, Lord God, for all your loving kindnesses and your tender mercy that you've shown towards us. We praise and adore you, Lord Jesus, and thank you so much for your mercy. We pray you help us, O oh God, to be a doers of thy word and not a hearer only. Continue to bless, I pray, O oh God, the listeners and the viewers everywhere, that they'll give good heed, I pray, O oh God, to thy everlasting doctrines. Bless our leader, I pray, O oh God, and help us, O oh God, to be forever mindful of thine agenda. For we know, Lord God, that the dead do not praise thee, neither them that go down in silence, but we will bless thy name from this time forth and forever. May all souls present say, Amen.